guys, it's Goldstein here. I have been hunting for the rarest of diamonds throughout these magnificent hills of Judea all morning. Check it out. You have to understand where most people may only see stones and boulders and dust and dirt and thorns. We in Israel understand that the dust by our feet is the holiest of soil in the world. We in Israel understand that the stones in my hand are rarer and more precious than the most beautiful diamonds that this world has ever seen. Because as we've learned from our patriarch Jacob, when he did something as simple as lay his holy head down on Mount Moriah on Har Moriah, the rocks themselves quarreled as to who, which one of them would have the honor and privilege of becoming the resting place for that righteous man where most people only see an inanimate object that has no potential, that has no life in it, no growth. It's something that you can cast aside, spit on and step on, the lowest of the lows. That is the exact representation of how every tyrant throughout Jewish history has treated us as a nation. Just like these rocks have witnessed the decimation of Jewish history, the removal of the Jews from these very hills of Judah that I stand on. So too these rocks have witnessed the rebirth of the Jewish nation. They have witnessed prophecy as they stare over these hills watching the airplanes land at Ben Gurion Airport. They witness the entire nation of Israel returning home to this land on the wings of eagles. This is Israel. Our rocks have life.